I once did an experiment. I went into a bookstore and I said, I'm just going to pick out the book whose cover I like the best and put aside whatever other impressions I might have of that book and really see this through, mm. just to see how good of a predictor that would be. <laughs> yeah. And I ended up uh, liking the cover of a Kate Christensen novel. And I then liked the novel, and I've liked some of her subsequent writing. Mm. So when it comes to covers, covers are there in a way to trick us. Mm. But there's also a kind of matching going on. It signals maybe how intellectual the book is or what mm. kind of person should buy or read that book. Mm -hmm. So you see a cover. How do you decipher or decode the information there? If you like the cover, does it sway you? Uh, it, it, it can sway me, but uh, it rarely does. I'm not a big cover person. I'm, I'm really a text person, not an image person. And uh, so I, I try to see beyond the cover. But it does, the, the aesthetics obviously do play somewhat of a role. Um, but it's a very, uh, I think a cover can attract my attention, but won't be decisive. Uh, I don't think I, anything about a cover could convince me that this is a book I must have. Uh, I think I will leaf beyond that, but it, it can get me to pick up the book.